A couple weeks ago, I was right here just doing my thing, you know, creating cool stuff when I got an email from Snap Render Farm asking me to test out their render farm and see if I like it. First of all, I was reluctant, but when I saw the portfolio of work that has been rendered using their render farm, it was too good to be true. I just had to check it out. At the time, I was working on this particular project and I decided to render it using Snap Render Farm and compare it to my laptop's performance. For comparison, I'm working on RTX 2060 on my laptop and they gave me access to 6 1390s. Now how did that work? First of all, I had to set up my blend file by packing all resources. So I went to file, external data, pack resources. What this does is it packs your textures, your HDRI and other external files into the blend file. So I have my laptop here, but I also have a powerful computer in Ukraine. So how do you connect it? The answer is AnyDesk. So AnyDesk is a remote desktop application that helps you connect to another computer remotely. They also use Dropbox as a file sharing system. So a Dropbox folder will be open on my laptop and the same folder will be open on their system. So I can easily pass files back and forth. So I think I have everything all set up. What is left is dropping the blend file into Dropbox. Now we are on the virtual machine. You will notice that Dropbox is already open here. And oh, I didn't mention this. These guys asked me what software I used, the version of the software, whatever plugin I need so they could install everything ready for me that's why you see blender already installed here first of all i thought this was a vip experience you know because i'm a youtuber or something but they said nah this is how they actually roll on a normal day wow let's start up blender real quick you will notice i have my laptop blender here and the render farm blender here real quick let's check out what we are working with damn this is fire viewport performance as you can see my viewport performance is pretty good on my laptop pretty standard while on their pc we can notice a little bit of lag I don't believe this lag is due to poor performance, I mean you know the kind of specs we are working with here. I actually think it's due to my internet speed. Now to the reason why you all clicked on this video. Rendering performance. Again my laptop has a 2060 GPU while Snap Render Farm has 6 3090s. I'll make sure the output folder is the same Dropbox shared folder. Let me render a single frame on my laptop. Frame 200 at 2000 samples. Let's see how long it will take. 4 minutes 37 seconds, not bad, not bad. Now let's try the exact same thing with Snap Render Farm. Whoa, 42 seconds. Since I'm rendering 100 frames, that would take me 7.7 .7 hours on my laptop. Jesus. While on the render farm, it took me 1 hour and 10 minutes to render this animation. That is a whole 6 hour 30 minutes saved precious precious time it was getting rendered over there and i could see my files getting saved in real time in the dropbox folder when it was done all i had to do was download the images simple fast forward a couple days later while i was on a podcast with ritish so he suggested that i test out the render farm using just one 3090 instead of the whole six to see if there is any difference so i did at this time i had already completed the project and the scene now had a rigged character and clot simulation so it's a bit more complex i turned off five of the gpus in the preference and rendered from 300 which came out to 3 minutes and 4 seconds. Hmm. Now using all the 6 GPUs, I rendered the same frame and that came out to 59 seconds. So you can see the difference. The cool thing about GPU rendering is that it gets better and better the more you stack more GPUs. So yeah, I think I'm definitely going to be using this for my major projects that need massive render power. Check out Snap Render Farm if you think it's something that will be useful to you and your work. Whether you use Blender or Cinema 4D or Houdini or 3DX Max, Maya, they have you covered. If you have any specific questions, you could just send them an email. They are really, really nice people. So guys, Guys, this was really fun to make i would let you know when i find something else as cool as this until then please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video